All right, folks, here from Virginia City 8, and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. And we're moving on to Demons Among Us 6 of 6. And we just heard that the, uh, Joe Warren, okay, I missed that. Mr. Warren's had quite a political trajectory so far, so I'm sure I'll make a fine leader. And for his first order of business, he wants to see you, Ace. Ace, the Dream Life device Dream Life gave Dr. Pickering his ringing. Where's Rupert? We need him to unlock the gadget's eye recognition system. I'm right here. Pass me the device. Retinal scan in progress. This is an automated mesh for Dr. Pickering. Our car will be sent to pick you from, up from the Gliss Hotel at 6 p.m. today. Please be ready to leave at this time. Well, old man, your time to shine has finally arrived. Do you have everything you need to go under the dome? Yes, I've studied Dr. Pickering's research up from top to bottom, and I'll now I'll be able to fool Dream Life into thinking I'm the geology expert they hired. But I'd feel much better if I knew I could contact you from inside the dome, Ace. How will you know I'm all right? And how will I transform whatever information I can get from the meteorite to you? Don't worry about that, Rupert. I've been working on something. Come to my office and I'll tell you all about it. Ace, Dream Life is our priority here. Go speak to Kathy. I'll stall the interim mayor. Now, I want to talk to the interim mayor. He looks cool. Joe Warren? I'm sure that's a reference to someone. I can't think of it, though. Who does he remind me of? I, he kind of looks like... It looks like an old friend of mine I had. I dig it, though. I dig it. Hmm. Who do we, who do we go with first, guys? I think... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with the mare. Why not? And then mare. Whatever. Ah, you must be Secret Agent Ace. Let me introduce myself. Joe Warren. I'll be stepping in as interim mayor until the new elections can be held. What can we do for you, interim mayor? It's about the demon fish. You see, scientists and animal rights associations run our brain with the mayor of Price's plans to exterminate the fish when made public. So I made arrangements to have them shipped off to an aquarium in San Diego instead. The only problem is I can't find the mayoral seal to stamp the documents. Mayor Price must have had it on her when she was killed. Without the seal, I can't get anything done. I need you to find it. Sounds like a simple enough task to seek an agent ace, Mayor Warren. Apply to the animal control facility at once. <laughs> I think it's gonna take like a dark turn. Cause like we need like one simple seal. We go to the control facility. We just find him just like stabbed to death. Oh, you guys wanna be do Kathy? I'll do Kathy, it's cool. Cool. So, Rupert, I've been thinking about how you'd be able to communicate with us once you were under the dome for a while now. Obviously, we can't be sure that your phone won't be bugged and wearing a wire would be too dangerous. We can't risk Dream Life realizing you're an imposter. So, how will I contact you? I built you a communications microchip. It's the equivalent of a phone, but smaller than a stamp. I just need something inspicuous to hide it in. What about the watch I wear on special occasions? Do you fit the microchip in there? Of course, a watch. That's a brilliant idea, Rupert. Give it here. Uh, I'd seen him misplace it. Oh, wow, what a surprise. Somebody misplaced something in Criminal Case? What? Uh, is is this the right game I'm playing? Whoa. Sarcasm. Must have fallen off when I went for a stroll at the park earlier. Ace, we need to find it quick. There's not much time before Dream Life comes to collect Dr. Pickering. All right, guys, which is more boring, a watch or a stamp? <laughs> the stamp is more boring, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the watch. Jeez. <laughs> this is gonna be the most boring AI ever. <laughs> Alright. Diamond, camera, uh, parasol, violin, uh, cash, tie, dark, bag, and statue, uh, lobster, pepper, trash, and. Perfect. Gosh, darn it, Ace. I can't see my watch anywhere. You think you might have swept it under the trash? Oh, I skipped that by accident. I apologize. Ace, you found my watch. I can't believe someone threw away a vintage Brolux before. <laughs> Brolux. 
Sorry, you're right. That's not time to be outraged. We need to get my watch to Kathy so she can fit in within the communication spectrum before I infiltrate the dome. <laughs> Alright. Six hours. Okay. I can only choose one of these. If I had 10 extra casts, I'd be able to finish the AI, but I also need stars, too. I need, like, two, but still. Soda can. Ink pad. There you go. Weefy? We Weefy? What is that? <laughs> driver. Exit sign. Pad lock. Goggles. Dropper. Bat. Satellite. Fish. Boot. Flyers. Well, there's no sign of a marital seal, but clearly the ink pad that goes with it. You think somebody might have stolen the steel lace? I think a luck, whoever it was might have touched the ink pad too. Let's dust it for fingerprints. Why would anybody steal it? <gasps> He's trying to impersonate the mayor. Probably Lola. Alright, Ace, Kathy's busy getting Rupert ready to go into dome, so let's get those fingerprints of the bad on the ink pad to a mirror. Hopefully it'll tell us who took the Meryl seal. I bet it's Lola, because she's just crazy. Alright guys, I have a choice. Oh man, I'm actually one- I can do both of these. I'm one cash short. One. I need one cash. <laughs> I'm gonna text Trevor just to say, like, hey, can I... Today's all right, so so we we have a choice. I mean, I can come back and finish the other part like an hour or something when it wears off a little bit. Um, I don't even know what I want to do. I kind of want to figure out who. I'm kind of curious. All right, I'm gonna do the ink pad. I'm really curious as to who stole it. I really hope it's Lola. Ace, I can't believe it's already time for Rupert to go into the dome. I'm so nervous for him. Rupert's going to be just fine, Amir. So all that studying he's been doing, he knows Pickering's working inside out. Anyways, did you manage to get an idea on those fingerprints on the ink pad? I sure did. Oh! Who touched the ink pad was Patricia P. Harris. What the heck of Miss, Miss Harris one with Meryl series? You better ask her. That should be interesting. Sarah, can you explain why we found your fingerprints in this ink pad? The Meryl seal, which goes it has gone missing. Oh dear. Rather awkward. I was visiting the animal control facility getting inspiration for a story I was working on, you see. About a woman who falls in love with a fish. Okay, I didn't... You stole the Meryl seal to forge official documents? Do you have any idea of the number of laws you're breaking? Sarah, should have just taken this up with the... With the new interim mayor. We're faith finding you for theft. And Ace, I'll make sure the seal gets back to City Hall. Cool. All right, guys. So I'm and we are back. Let's finish off this right here. So, did you manage to fit my watch with that communications microchip, Kathy? I sure did. I had to make a few modifications to the watch, but I managed to keep the in exterior intact. Now let's run over how it works. To check in once a day and let us know you're okay, you just need to press once on the watch's crown and it'll send a signal to the office. If you find yourself in an emergency, pressing on the crown twice will allow you to call us via the inbuilt microphone. 
I must stress that you should only use this function if you're sure you're in a safe place. If Grima catches you speaking into your watch, you'll be in trouble. Obviously. Now, Ace, let's go tell the chief that everything is in place. Exciting. Chief, I have everything I need to go under the dome. At these tinker with my watch, so I'll be able to contact you, and I've got my disguise at the ready. Let's go over the plan. Dreamlight setting a car to pick up who it is to believe Dr. Mortimer Pickering from the Glitz Hotel at 6 p.m. Kathy and Ace will be watching from a nearby vantage point, so we can intervene if Dreamlight suspects something is wrong. But if all goes well and Dreamlight believes you to be real Dr. Pickering, they'll take you straight to the dome. Your goal is to find out exactly what Dreamlight is doing with that meteor rate, but whatever you do, don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger. Now, are you sure you want to go ahead with this, Rupert? I've never been sure of anything, Chief. I won't let you down. Now, Ace, let's grab something to eat so we can keep our wits about us. Alright, this is it. Let's go to the Glitz Hotel so I can switch places with the real Dr. Pickering. We have a problem, Ace. Pickering is not at the hotel, and he's not picking up his phone. I called reception and said he mentioned going to the park. Park? You were supposed to say put, even back at the hotel. Don't worry, Rupert. Ace will I go find Pickering at the park. You wait at the hotel. I hope Mortimer didn't, like, die. That would suck. Alright. No dead Mortimer. Um... Wallet? I'll get the... For the last. Er... Chopsticks. <laughs> Perfect time to sneeze during a recording. Nice. <sighs> Alright. Ace, I can't see Pickering anywhere. What if he's gotten into some kind of trouble? You could say that torn paper wasn't here earlier? Well, if there's any chance Pickering might have dropped it, we need to put it back together. Running around on high alert, Dr. Herring is out here taking selfies in the sunshine? The secret agent is my sincerest apologies. I lost track of time. There you are. Forget the excuses, Dr. Herring. Just follow us. Rupert's waiting for you at the hotel. Okie dokie. Add more and more Pickerings from places. Dr. Pickering, we received word that Dream Life will send a car to pick you up from the hotel at 6 p.m. today. As you already know, Rupert will instead assume your identity and go under the dome. To ensure his cover isn't blown, you will enter witness protection tonight. I suppose this is Shurio from now then, Rupert. Maybe we didn't have time for tea and crumpets, but we'll have plenty of time for that once you're out, eh? Certainly. As soon as I find out what Dream Athlete is doing with that meteorite, I'll be able to go back to our mobile lives. Take care, Rupert. And remember, if you ever find yourself in a pickle, just mention the Shurio age paradox. It'll shove everyone up. And please, take this. Busy scientist here. Well, Ace, I think I'm all set. Just need to put on my fake beard and... There, how do I look? The semblance is uncanny. Although didn't... Although didn't Pickering have different glasses? Oh, you're right. There, now all this stuff is for me to wait for Dream Life to come Pickering up. Pick Pickering, haha. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm a tad nervous. I'll be fine, Ripper. Besides, we'll be watching to make sure you're safe. For now, let's go to the station, Ace. Later at the office. Ace, the interim mayor is delighted that you returned to Meryl Sildom so speedily. Thanks to you, the demon fish are on their way to Inquirem in San Diego as we speak. They're no longer a threat, once and for all. Which means they are finally free to focus entirely on getting under Dream Life's dome, Ace. Sounds creepy. Uh, Dream Life should be picking up Pickering, or rather Rupert, from the hotel in half an hour. If everything goes to plan, they will, then they will take Rupert in the dome, and where will you be able to find out more about the meteorite and report back to us? Great. Ace, you better head to your vantage point. We need to make sure the plan works that Rupert's not in any danger. I've got binoculars and a lifting device. We at least will be able to see and hear Rupert without anyone seeing us. Let's go, Ace. Okie dokie. Oh. Hmm. 
Which is which? Oh, guys, don't worry. They're different. One has a badge. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> At the vantage point. <laughs> I love it. Here we are, Ace. Thanks to this listening device, we'll be able to eavesdrop and make sure Dreamlock believes Rupert to be Dr. Pickering. Now put in your headphones and grab your binoculars. I see a car approaching. Dreamlock agent. Dr. Pickering, I'm here to pick you up. Can I please see your credentials? Of course. I think we'll find everything is in order. It appears so. We're delighted to have you on board, Dr. Pickering. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing what we're doing with that meteorite. Oh, this is so easy, Rupert. You're good at this. So, how do you go, Ace? Plain and simple, the don't disguise as Dr. Pickering. Pickering, I can't say his last name. Well, without a hitch, Dream Life wouldn't suspect a thing. As for the real Dr. Pickering, we put him in witness protection both for his safety and for Rupert's. Really admire Rupert. Takes guts to go undercover and pretend you're a world famous geologist. I would be able to fool anyone. I think Rupert's been studying Pickering's work for weeks, and he won't be alone. Thinks that Kathy will be able to contact us using his watch in case of an emergency. Now that Rupert is, in, is on the inside, it's only a matter of time before we manage to make our way into that domies. That's it. Alright, everyone. So that is all of Case 30. And now, we're going to be moving on to the new district. Misty Grove. Oh boy, this is exciting. Discover and solve six new cases. All right. All right. So I guess I myself or uh, Trevor will see you guys on August 16th. This is King from Virginia City. Over and out.